Thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. Guys, I am finally filming this video. I'm so excited. This is probably the most requested thing I have on my channel. Everybody wants to know the tea, so let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I get a ton of questions about my treadmill routine. If you don't already know, I have a very popular treadmill routine, which a lot of people are doing, and it makes me the happiest person in the world because we are all working towards our goals. We're all doing this together. I feel like I do it every day, and now a lot of you guys are doing it every day, and it makes me so happy. It's so cool. We have this little community of people that are now motivated or going to the gym when they used to maybe not go to the gym, like myself. So we're gonna get into absolutely all of that, but right now we are gonna go get groceries. We're gonna do like a full-blown grocery run so you can see some examples of like what types of things I like to get, what I like to keep in my fridge, some meal examples, and yeah, so let's go to Target. Guys, we go grocery shopping together. It's one of our favorite things to do. Well, Cooking together is one of our favorite things to do. I've been getting better at cooking thanks to you teaching me. You definitely have gotten better. She's starting to like come out and like do her thing and, and make a couple meals, which is nice. I used to not be able to cook literally anything. I was like take out and like easy stuff that you throw in the microwave, but now I'm actually getting good. Anyways, character development, guys. So my thing is I don't ever want to restrict myself from certain things and then I just kind of get frustrated and give up on it and then I'm back to square one or I mean I don't want a calorie count like that no because then you're like counting there like it's just not enjoyable you know what I mean so I just like to do things that are sustainable easy going and just the better option for an all-around better life like it's not even like I want to look a certain way I want to do this like it's more like I want to feel good I want to feel good about myself and I want to feel good about the things that I'm putting into my body we got a lot of greens these are good to make quick salads. I'll show you guys like a salad that I love to make. It's really simple. And how often do I eat the salad? Every it's like the day. perfect like snack. You can make it so fast and it tastes so good. So these little steaming bags. We are, love like, these. Perfect. You throw them in the microwave and you just that's it. And like, you take them out. Super lazy, super easy, and you're getting your veggies. These are literally the best because it's already done, you know. And that's your protein for the wrap, the sandwich, the salad, whatever it may be. So we like to go for almond milk. I don't really have anything against dairy necessarily, but milk, I don't know. I don't really love milk. Neither do you. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I just like the idea of, I don't like milk, you know? I, I love things with milk in it, but. Okay, so I'm not gonna get these because I already have them at home in my freezer, but I love these and I'll show you at home. But they're so good for making smoothies. This is whole strawberries and the ingredients on this is literally strawberries, that's it. That's why I love it. So at home I have the one with like a mixture of different fruits and I use it to make smoothies. So we'll probably make one of those during this video too. Okay, we're back. This is some of what we got yesterday and now I'm gonna make some breakfast. So this brand, I'm very excited about it, Good & Gather. It's Target's new flagship grocery brand. Basically they use a taste first approach and high quality ingredients. So every time I get it, I just already know it's gonna taste really good and be really good. So Honey and I are gonna make some breakfast. Typically we like to make eggs, but we don't like to make boring eggs. We like to throw fun stuff in it. And maybe we'll make like a wrap, babe? A wrap? Hello? So let's get this breakfast. So in the beginning of our relationship, you used to, like made me breakfast one time, huh? Every single day. Every single day. Mm-hmm. And that's how I knew I got a good one. Now we do breakfast together and it's like a fun thing we do together. My contribution was cracking the eggs and whisking them up. One of my new obsessions is Kobe Jack cheese. I can't, like I could eat it from the bag and I do. Sometimes he has to stop me, he's like, what are you doing? And I'll just be like this. And bags of cheese. I love cheese. So here's a great example of a good breakfast that I like to have. Okay guys, I just got to the gym. I'm gonna do my treadmill routine. So I do this every single day, or at least I try to do it every single day. And it's really easy for me because it's just going there and doing one thing. So before I used to get very overwhelmed when I would walk into a gym. Cause I wouldn't really know what to do and I would get very overwhelmed with just the machines in the room. Like, ah, I don't know what to do. So. This made it really easy to just come in and do the same thing every day and a lot of people have been doing it. A lot of people love it and a lot of people give me really, really great feedback about it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. And no, I don't normally do this with makeup on. <laughs> I just forgot to take it off. Okay, so again, a speed of three, incline of 12 for 30 minutes every day. And that's that on that. When I started doing this at first, I was out of breath within the first two minutes, like two minutes on here and I was like, <laughs> And now I'm like, 
in so much better shape. I can do it pretty easily, honestly. I watch YouTube videos, I listen to music, I listen to podcasts audiobooks and the time does fly by. So another really common question that I get is do I keep my hands on the bar or off the bar? And to be honest with you, I go back and forth throughout the whole workout. I try to do like 30% of the time with my hands on it and 60, that's not even math, 70, right, okay. And then 70% of it not on it. So just doing this alone, I feel really good. Sometimes, yeah, I'll do other things in the gym. I'll do machines, I'll do weights, I'll do squats, whatever it may be, but this way is really simple and it's easy to just get yourself to the gym. That's the most important part. Just get yourself in the door, just do it. Do this one little thing as much as you can and you're gonna feel great. So if you've never tried my workout, tag me when you try it for the first time. I'll repost you. But a lot of people do it and they really love it. So here are some 12, 3, 30 before and afters. Of course, I asked all of their permissions and got their approvals to use this in the video. And I'm really proud of everyone. Again, it's not about how you look, it's about how you feel and it's about getting that motivation to actually get up and go be active every single day. But people have really been loving it. They've been loving how they feel, how they look. And it just makes me so happy that we're all doing this together. Look at her messages and this one's so sweet. Hey girl, here are some before and afters from doing your workout routine. It took around three months for me to drop 30 pounds. You're an angel and thank you so much for changing my life for the better sending lots of love oh guys isn't that the cutest thing ever thank you for these messages so after the gym i get really hungry so this is my little salad that i make a million times a day i'm obsessed with it first i use some shredded chicken so this shredded chicken comes already completely done i like to throw it in the microwave you don't really have to because i mean it just depends if you're a cold chicken in your salad type of person or a hot chicken in your salad type of person. It's already ready, which is what I love because I'm not trying to, well, like when I'm having a quick snack, I don't want to really cook. So then I'm going to throw in some greens, olive oil. So next thing I do, I'll put some pepper, I'll season it a little bit. And my favorite part, the Parmesan cheese. Oh, some onions, I forgot. Now this is where I always go a little crazy, the Parmesan cheese. I try to keep my salads light and more of a snack and then I just like load. So much Parmesan cheese on there. Ooh, give me some of that onion. Mm. So look at this, like look at what you got. Oh here. my God. And you save a plate, now you don't have to wash one because we used the one from the chicken. Give me one of them squash. Lauren doesn't like vegetables, so. I like that squash, what's up? Mm. So some things that I like to be mindful of when I'm shopping for my groceries is trying to avoid things like artificial flavors, artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, and high fructose corn syrup. So Good & Gather, all their products are made without all of those things, which is why I just know that I could trust it. And when I'm at Target, I could throw it in the cart and not have to worry about that. But just something to be mindful of. Okay, so we just decided what we want for dinner. Hello. <laughs> We just decided what we want for dinner, and we decided on pasta. Oh, I always put the camera too low, and then you have to bend. Yeah, this looks nice. <laughs> so we decided on pasta tonight, pasta, meatballs, and we are tired, guys. We go to bed at 8.30. <laughs> it just makes it more enjoyable to make dinner when it's something quick and easy. Especially if you're not into, into like, cooking. Like, sometimes I watch, like, cooking videos and stuff, and it's the most extra recipe. Yeah. It's like the most complicated. It's like, I'm bro, like, who has time for that? there's no way you're gonna make that once. Like, if it's complicated, you're just not gonna do it. So start slow. Start on the kind of easy stuff. Honestly, and eating at home is better than eating at a restaurant if you're like, just for everything, right? Way cheaper. Pretty, pretty much. It's always gonna be cheaper. It's always gonna be way cheaper. Like, no way it's gonna be more expensive. It's, you're gonna know what's inside of it. Like, if you go to a restaurant and you order something off the menu, you have no idea what they're putting in it. You should know how to cook, I think. I mean, maybe I'm old school. My mom was always cooking around me and I kind of learned with my mom, but it just feels good to kind of be like more independent. Like you can cook for others, you can cook for yourself. Like it just feels good mm -hmm. to know that you, you can hold it down. Are you eating it raw? I'm just trying it. Is it good? Yeah, I love cheese, so give it to me raw, cooked. So tonight's pasta is tri-color cheese tortellini with ricotta, romano, parmesan, and mozzarella. Mm. Oh my god. I didn't think that was gonna be that loud. Draw. All right, this is done. Ooh. So we just put a little bit of some sauce. Oh my god. You, okay. you got another white shirt, Norman? I just mess up. Like. Oh. I always dirty shirts up. That's the, that's my one flaw. 
<laughs> One. I'm too humble, that's my second flaw. <laughs> Yo, these meatballs and this pasta are so good. Thank you for hanging out with me and Honey today. Um, let me know if you have any questions about my workout routine and if I can help you anything like that or with more meal examples. And everything that I ate, I got at Target today and it's from that new brand that I'm really excited about, Good & Gather. So you can check them out in store or learn more about them online. Wanna say bye? Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> Thank you again, 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 Target. For sponsoring this.